You're watching Without the Snow Dogs. Make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. You know, Shelby, we're not going anywhere if you don't get out of that seat. And look, Oakley's in the other seat. You girls can't drive. No driving for the dogs. What, are you tired now? Are you tired now? The girls made it 2.6 miles on our little sledding excursion. Since it's getting warmer really fast here, we decided that we better go sledding while we still can, right? And we might go up north to see some of the snow up there. Maybe we'll take you girls up north. We haven't decided yet, but maybe we'll go see some waterfalls and take you guys along too. We'll take the dogs and you. Yay! <laughs> what? 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 Oh my gosh, what? Up close to the eyeball. Anyway, um, I was watching a video the other day on the Hey That's Mike channel, and he was talking about a bunch of rocks that he had in his closet. He was cleaning out his closet or something, and he found a bunch of rocks. Uh, and he was talking about, you know, I don't know what to do with all these rocks, and you know, you can't put them on display because they're just in boxes and closets. Well, I don't know if you guys know this, probably for some of our camping vlogs you probably saw this. Somebody in this house is a rock hound. Who in this house is a rock hound? I have no idea. It's not you, right? No. Nope. No, are you back there playing Minecraft and mining rocks? Uh, nope. <laughs> uh, he is actually back there working. Um, probably playing Minecraft too. But anyway, I, I like rocks, but Jamie really likes rocks. Um, I think it's a family thing because one of our nieces really likes rocks. So we end up with, here, I will show you some. Quite literally, buckets and containers and bags and look at all these of rocks and kind of the same thing you know you sit and you throw them in these containers and you never get to see them again you cannot eat rocks and you know there's some cool ones in here they look cooler when they get wet here lick this rock for me lick it lick the rock see there you go <laughs> thanks oakley you can be my rock licker um so anyway what i wanted to show you is there is a really cool, easy way to display rocks, and I'm going to show you what we did. Can you excuse me, Oakley? I'm going to show my rocks. Ta-da! This is what I have found works really good for displaying rocks. You take a jar. This is just a glass, uh, like a mason jar. Care, I guess it's called. Just a glass jar. Oakley, stop it. And then this is actually an acrylic jar with a seal on it. We used to keep dog treats in it, but we don't anymore. And you put the rocks in there, and then you put water in it, and you can see the, it, the water makes the rocks look polished or makes them look like they did when you pull them out of the water if you didn't actually pull them off the shore and you pull them out of the water. Look, there's a Petoskey stone. That's our state stone right there. That's a Petoskey stone. Um, and when you pull them out, of the, you know, they look like they did when you pull them out of the water. That's a cool one. So you can kind of see what they look like. And the neat thing is, is you can take, based on the size of the jar you're using, you can take size rocks so that you don't have a bunch hidden in between. Like most of these, you don't have any rocks hidden in between. Seriously, girls, it's not that interesting. No, it's not food, really, it's not food. Get out of the way, because you're in my son. Um, but anyway, this is the one that I think is the coolest that I've done. Let's see if my camera will pick these up. This, I got this little, it looks like, Jamie said it was a rock potion. Is that what you called it? A potion? Or a vial? Something like that. Anyway, um, these, most of these, not all of them, come on camera, focus. This camera always wants to go to macro focus unless I need it to. There's one right there, you can see really good. Right there. Some of these are Lake Superior agates. Uh, actually, most of these, except for the top ones that are in here, are Lake Superior agates. We only ever really found small ones. Oh, I hate the focus on this camera. We only really ever found small ones so far. I'm sure we'll find more eventually. So, I put them in this little rock vial, and this actually sits in my window. There's a good one right there. The camera would focus. Focus, focus. I wish I could just set it on macro, but it doesn't work. Um, but anyway, oh, there it comes into focus. There we go. That's a cool one right there. That's a Lake Superior agate. 
So I just take this and it sits in my windowsill so I can look at all these pretty rocks. There's another cool one right there. Look up Lake Superior agates to see some really cool ones. We're definitely going to go have to go back up to the UP and find some more. There's another cool one right there. But it's neat because you can see all the pretty rocks that you've picked up over time and you can see what they look like. And you can actually put them on display. I need a better lid for this one. I didn't I was just going to get a metal ring lid, but this was all I had. So anyway, I just wanted to take a minute to show you guys our rock jars and that was it. That's all. And you can say hi to the girls. Now I have to go back to work. I'm going to I might try to play Sim City later tonight. If you have not subscribed to our video game channel yet. I know most of you probably have. It's youtube.com slash arcade snow dogs. I did get the new Sim City. Uh, of course, if any of you have been reading anything about it, it has been crashing a lot lately because it's a new game. But I did a video of the tutorial and hopefully tonight I'll be able to do, upload a video of some gameplay on it. I'm going to try. So anyway, there's the rock jars. I better go get to work.